I'm Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You hit newsletters. You're going to see it on the right-hand side. You just hit the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. We get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199, or 22%, and you get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593, or 33%. And they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, as well as Basil has about 10 to 12 great archives there, so you can understand how you ride that wave each and every day as we trade these markets. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing good. Yourself? I'm well, thank you. And this is an interesting moment. You were just talking about it. So, you know, in my work, I'm always looking for four higher peaks. I'll just show this uh, for the moment to give the people who aren't used to it. Okay. I try to identify the lowest low, count each successively higher uh, peak. Yes. I alphabetize them sequentially, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But there's never an H, but it's at D, the fourth highest peak, that other things can happen. So let me show you what we're looking at here. Uh, in uh, February, we made a peak D in the Dow, 34,331, tumbled down to 31,429. Uh, that was a trough D on the 15th of March. And now, and as I've been saying, I think it's now about three weeks, I said, I'm anticipating we've got a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode, which says that we should at least get to a D. Well, yesterday confirmed the peak D because there was a lower high from the 34,082 level that was made three days ago. But look how we've just gone sideways. And what I've been saying for to, in my show, the Tiger Technician's Hour, uh, every day 10 o'clock to 11 Eastern Time, and tomorrow I'll go through this again, um, is that the nine period moving average is way over the 14 and the price is way above the nine and 14. That's number one. Number two is the MACD is still very strong. The stochastic is flat. I love a flat stochastic, especially when it's in the 90% area and this is 93%. So that doesn't tell you, <clears throat> oh, this is fantastic. You should scream to higher highs. It just says you've got a really strong base at this particular time. That can change and it will change over time. But right now, that's what we're looking at. So, and the unbalanced volume, this little blue line here, is somewhat over overbought. And that says we could pull back a little bit. But what I am looking at is if I translate this, and we've been long for quite some from the lows, actually, <clears throat> and we're still long uh, the Dow. But most importantly, I'm looking at this weekly chart. So, if there's a chance that even if it's intra, intra week, we spike above this level here. We can get into the 34,100, 34,200, maybe even the test that 34,300 level again. <clears throat> That'll be the first breakout we've gotten from this pattern that I call the inside track repellent line. All of a sudden, that became that could become a propellant line. And for the for two week, well, last week at the close, and so far this week, the green. Nine period moving average is a positive over the 14. Okay. The MACD is cross positive, and the stochastic still weak at 69%. So there are some positive signs in the weekly chart, and all of this will impact, finally impact the monthly chart. We've got that same, see these two trend lines, resistance. If we can break out, that'll be the first time we've broken to the upside. That's important. So <clears throat> at peak D, I always say other things can happen. So we're a little tentative here to say, well, got to be a little careful. Anything can happen right now. But with the technical so strong, I think there's, there's just enough residual strength to at least attempt to uh, get back into the 34,000s. So that's the Dow. <clears throat> What's also important is uh, we were looking at, you know, you and I were looking at the TLT last week. You asked me about it, and I said, well, it's very interesting because it's stuck in this rectangle. So I'll do this again in my show tomorrow morning. But I like to look at rectangles. Let me see if I can find it right here. There it is. I like to look at rectangles, a long rectangle, a narrow rectangle as one particular analysis, but the large rectangle says you can stay in that range for quite a while, just like the, the narrow one, but unless you're starting to move and break out to the upside, you've got to be somewhat careful 
uh, thinking that it is going to break to the upside. And here we are stuck in the middle. And that just says to me, I don't think bonds are an issue right now. Yields are just kind of in the range. So to me, that takes one thing off the table. You were talking about the dollar. The dollar, uh, and we've been along the dollar actually since 2018 at uh, – uh, at, I think it was uh, 70, uh, 91, and here it is at 101. We've watched it go all the way up to 121, come tumbling down. The, the stop in the UUP that we had held, we went back to 105.88 uh, in the 8th of uh, March this year, and now we've come down. So there's a way of looking at it that I think kind of it's been working for a lot of different uh, um, instruments that we're looking at, and you can see the 100. 100.82 low of the 3rd of February, went up to 105.88, and in exactly the same time frame, it came down, but it missed it by three days, but it did go to 100.79. Uh, so that means we've got the potential here for a, a double bottom, uh, just as we had the double top at the 105 area, uh, also with the price time match. And here it says, the I... I heard you talking about the dollar. I think the dollar has a chance to bounce a little bit, and that could coincide with some market weakness. So I'm trying to put this all together as almost a package. And you know, when you think of the Fed, I'm saying to myself, I would, I would not like to be part of the Fed right now. I, I don't know how they're analyzing it. For instance, WT is a Wisdom Tree Inc. This is this is like a fund. And look, it's done so well. It's gone to a leg D. The last D saw a big sharp pullback to the 200 period moving average, but here it is at uh, um, it's almost a yearly yeah it's almost a yearly recovery high. So yeah, they're looking at the market. Then there's another aspect that I'm looking at H Y, which is high to Yale Materials Handling. This designs, engineers, manufacturers. Uh, these are lift trucks. These are trucks for basically the building area. So and aftermarket parts. And here it is, an all-time high. As we're speaking, it's at an all-time high. Then you've got builders, uh, and you probably know a lot more about it than I do, builders first source, and they are, they're really very involved in the construction area at new highs. So I'm saying to myself, wow, what, what, what is the Fed going to look at? What are they, they should have, for years, they should have been raising yields because if there was a demand for, for the bonds, they should have been able to just automatically. That's the normal thing. They haven't done that, so I think they kind of caught it, caught in a in a in a very interesting trap. And the other aspect is the DB uh, Agricultural Fund is saying, well, uh, in the agricultural area, there's still uh, price increases because look, it's trading. It is a very strong leg. We are along this from the 13s. Here it is at 21.30. Uh, it's only a leg C in the weekly chart. And it's done a really good retracement from the, the digestive phase since it hit 2301 back in May. So, yes, another inflationary aspect. So it's going to be interesting to see what the Fed does. And listen, folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You can see it right in the right-hand side, the opening call. You hit that baby. You are off to the races. Basil, you have a great night, a safe night. I'm glad you got a little spring weather. I was talking to my daughter. Absolutely. It was 80 degrees yep. yesterday. Fabulous. <laughs> yep, we're getting there. Thank you. And look forward to the show tomorrow, Basil. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Great Stay right there, folks. You're coming right back.